Now, Florida Senator Rick Scott wants to change the way that Americans vote this November, and he wants to do it before the election. His new bill is called the Voter Act, which stands for Verifiable, Orderly, and Timely Election Results. The legislation calls for a uniform vote-by-mail system nationwide. Right now, the system varies from state to state, with Florida already doing much of what's in Senator Scott's proposal. Now, the big change is you'd have less time to request a mail ballot, and supervisors would have max 24 hours to count every single ballot, whether it was by mail or in person. And that's nationwide, not just here in Florida. 10 Tampa Bay's Vote Squad is focused on the voting process. Courtney Robinson explains why this proposed legislation doesn't change how you'll vote right now in Tampa Bay. Election officials tell me that they're worried this is just going to confuse voters. The last thing we want for this election is confusion. So let's dive right into this. First, for the general election, this doesn't change anything. You still have until October 24th to request your ballot be mailed to you. You have until November 3rd at 7 p.m. for your ballot to be returned and received. If there's something wrong, if there's a missing signature, it doesn't match, you have until 5 p.m. two days after the election to fix it. From our perspective, the general election is already happening. We will be sending out mail ballots to voters on September 29th, and we've already widely publicized that the last day to request a mail ballot is on October 24th. So from this perspective, there is no opportunity for us to go out and re-message it. As for results being counted, right now in Florida, the first round of unofficial results must be filed with the Division of Elections by noon on November 4th. All eligible ballots have to be counted and results have to be certified by November 15th. 